Welcome to our home that is located in Costa Rica in an eco village that we have been dreaming up for years. And now it is, it's here, it's here. Come on in. Just so you know, how the house is right now isn't how it's going to be. This is just where we're at right now. Um, it's it's starting to feel like a home, but we have so much more we want to add to it, which we'll share with you uh, throughout this tour. And as you can see, if you are new here, we have an Airstream in our house. We spent five years traveling in this 1976 vintage Airstream, and now it is here in Costa Rica where it's going to be permanently based. It is our bedroom along with our daughter's bedroom, but more about that later. Let's start with the washroom. First of all, this door we found secondhand and it fits perfectly for the entrance to our washroom. So come on in. This is definitely an upgrade from our Airstream washroom, which was like this big. Now we have all this space. I like you can literally dance in here, do some workouts or whatever. But yeah, I love it. Um, we have this, this concrete sink. We have tons of shelving for all of our stuff and towels. We have a little space under here for laundry. We have our toilet that isn't just like your typical flush toilet. It's a bidet because we were inspired by our, our travels in Japan. We wanted a like a full on bidet that heats, that washes, that dries and this does it all. We have our large shower and we actually took out the shower system from our Airstream because we completely took out our washroom in the Airstream and we brought it in here to reuse it. We love it. It's a Nebbia shower system and this is just so much space in here. Just this shower is larger than what our bathroom used to be in the Airstream. And if you're tall enough, which I'm not, but by going on my tippy toes maybe, you can actually see Turubaris, which is this beautiful mountain. We wanted to go for like a boho chic feel everywhere in our place. And in the washroom, it's like those neutral tones. We have ceramic uh, tiling all along our shower as, long, as well as on the ground of the entire washroom. And I love this tile. It looks and feels like a tree trunk. It's beautiful. Welcome into our living space slash kitchen area. So it's all kind of one big open concept house and that's what we wanted. The Airstream is de designated as like bedrooms and I have a little office in there, but this is where we hang out during the day. And everything is concrete so that it lasts forever. We're in the jungle, there's bugs, there's termites. They like to eat houses unless they're concrete. So that's why we went with concrete everything. And humidity. And Maybe humidity, some... yeah, because if you have too much wood, the wood can swell up and, and shrink and that can cause problems, so. And mold. We don't want to deal with mold. I love the design. It's really nice to have our induction stove here and then sink right here. This is a copper sink that we took out of the Airstream and installed here. We also took out this stove top too. We have some dog food that we just made today. <laughs> homemade dog food. Homemade dog food. We love That's our dog. homemade dog food. And then this incredibly enormous island. I think this is like a meter and a half by a meter and a half. Six people can sit around, or even eight, if we open up the glass here. And it holds our bananas, which is important when you live in the jungle here. Bananas from the land. Bananas from the land. This is our compost bin. So much. This get fills up. This fills up in a week. Full of compost. Probably fills up twice. Yeah. Currently we don't have any cupboards yet. It's just all kind of open. These are things that we're going to add, you know, as we go. For right now it's livable and we're happy with it. And we just were excited to move in. Currently this whole place is being run off solar, which I think is pretty cool. So the fridge, I mean, I hope the fridge is on. Yeah. <laughs> Fridge is on, light is on, and we are being powered by our solar system. We just added this rug and it's like giving me all the feels. It's so soft. I feel like I haven't felt a rug in Costa Rica. 
but we have one. This is like our living play space. Where Sia is, that's actually a mattress, but we're gonna convert it into a very comfortable couch. And we left this space open for our daughter to play and her friends to play and for us to play, <laughs> which is a lot of fun. Over here is our daughter's art table where she likes to create. And we just got this little uh, picnic table, which has been a hit with her and her friends. They play here, they have their snacks here. So just like this area is just like, you know, to have conversation, to be cozy, to play, to be with each other. And I want to keep it very open. And the view is pretty spectacular. So nice. Like, she's five years old and right outside her art desk is like this incredible jungle. This whole wall opens up So we basically have an indoor, outdoor living space now. We can also open up the door this way. So if we want more people sitting around the island, all the doors slide to this side, put a couple stools here, and now we can have eight people sitting around the island. And this side does the exact same thing. This opens up all the way. So as you can see, we've really created that indoor, outdoor balance and a place to run around and be silly. And this space is still a work in progress. This is just bare, but we're gonna level it out. We're gonna put some grass. We're gonna build a rock wall around to give us a little bit of privacy and protections from any creepy crawlies. And I'm thinking about even putting a pizza oven in the corner. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Welcome to my office slash the guest room. And we have these sliding glass doors as well to create the indoor outdoor living space. I love this room so much. I think it is my favorite spot in this whole place because I have dreamed of having my own office like this. I mean, this is, even exceeds my expectations because the view is just like, you can't get better than that. But having this much open space to create, to dream up projects, and just also take a deep breath looking at these mountains to just like reset. We just got this fancy desk. I've been wanting, I think it's called an ergonomic desk, the one that you can like bring up so you can stand and work and then it can go back down and you can sit. And then we have this futon, which is so cozy. If we have like a business meeting or you just want to take a break, read a book, watch some, I don't know, watch a show, anything. And it comes out. Eat some ice cream while okay. watching Eat The Bachelorette. Some... You got me. <laughs> it is true. And this futon is from a company called The Futon Shop, and they make the most, like, luxurious, organic, super health-conscious bedding and mattresses and pillows, and this is one of their, their futon mattresses absolutely comfortable and just top quality. With these windows you can also open all of them as well. There's three panels and they can go all the way this way, they can come all the way this way, or they can close up in the middle. In the morning when the sun is strong in this space you can just roll these down easily and we have them all around the room and they also double as a projector screen so we can have movie nights in here. Originally, this space was supposed to be a car park. We were gonna park our car in front of the best view in this, this home. And we're like, no, we can't do that. This has to become something else. So I'm so glad we decided to make it into a office guest room. And behind these doors, we have, ooh, they're heavy, so I have to like, there we go. <laughs> our washer and dryer, our laundry room. Let's go see the Airstream. This whole space is still a work in progress, but we don't care. We're excited to show you guys the progress and this is where we're at right now with it. So right here used to be the kitchen. I don't know if you guys remember, there used to be the copper sink that's out there was in here. And we do our dishes and look out the window. We ripped all that out. We ripped out all the water lines in this space. So there's no more water in here. There's no chance of leaking. And I turned this into a little workstation, little editing suite. So I can sit here, look at this incredible view and edit the video that you're watching right now. The video that you're watching right now.
but we kept the fridge. <gasps> Did I bring the coconuts in? I bought coconuts today and I totally forgot. You gotta put them in the people fridge. Been in the car. So this is gonna be the drink and snack fridge and it's gonna be full of coconuts. So whenever I'm editing and get thirsty or you want a midnight little drink or snack, there's peat buzz. This wood isn't going to stay this way. We're gonna replace it with probably teak or guanacaste. Yeah, kind of like your table in the office, yeah. in your office. All the wood is gonna get replaced so that we bring a little bit of Costa Rican flavor and design into this space. The Airstream is not moving anymore. It's built into this house. It's never leaving this land. We'll probably get something else in the future to renovate and go take on the road. But for right now, this Airstream is staying. Over here is Kai's space. So this is, this is her bed. We might change it up a little bit, but this is where she's gonna sleep. And we'll build some sort of like a privacy wall so that she can feel a little bit separate. She can go in here, close a door or something and, and feel that she has her own space. That's important. And then the probably, bedroom. Probably gonna replace this wallpaper too. And the bedroom. And the bedroom. <laughs> As you can tell, it's a little bit different. Where I'm standing used to be the shower. And then right here used to be the sink. And right here used to be the toilet. And now we cleared all that out. I'm so grateful that we cleared it out. Because now there's like space to kind of walk around in our room. Before we couldn't. There's literally a wall here and a wall here. And there was a little hallway. And then you'd have to like climb into bed. There was zero walking space. Now it's just like doubled in size. Gotta do something about these curtains too because they're just not working right now. Some, some of the windows don't even have curtains. This is fine. This, this is totally, is, look, yeah, you put it totally down, right. you put it up. That's so easy. That's all you need. No, we're gonna be replacing and making, for the windows that don't have anything, curtains, really nice ones. I'm just not sure what color yet. I'm thinking maybe a sage green. And I'm thinking about painting our cupboards where our clothing is green as well, but leaving everything else white. This definitely needs a paint job, like a, a refresher. Yeah, this oh. is original wallpaper. Yeah, we want to get rid of that. We had to clean all these panels and like scrape things off the wall, so we really need to uh, do like a paint touch up in here, and I think that will make it really nice. <laughs> And that's a little tour of this space so far. Which space was your favorite? What do you guys like better? The, the office, the bathroom, the Airstream, the kitchen? What, I wanna hear. There's even more spaces coming your way. I can't wait to show you one of them that we never even mentioned in this video, but we just have so much that we keep dreaming up, things we wanna add to this to make it even more incredible. But it just, it feels good to be here, to finally be in this house that we've been planning for years and yeah. we're here and it's so exciting and I hope you're excited to see it and to continue with us on this journey as we share even more with you. Yeah, we're going to be sharing more about Costa Rica, more about living in an eco community. So if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe so you don't miss our upcoming videos. All right, see you in the next video.